Hello, um, I'm Casper. Um, welcome to the next uh, National Bee Supplies video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use um, VAR checker, uh, how to assemble it. going to go through all the steps and go to the hive, get a sample of bees, put them to sleep, count the VAR mites. Um, it's quite cool. cool. Um, so um, when you get your VAR checker, um, what you sh what you'll be getting in the box will be your VAR counter, then um, CO2 dispenser, um, and two CO2 cartridges, and the instructions, of course. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to assemble it. So to assemble your um, CO2 VAR checker. Um, our counter is pre-assembled. It opens one side, uh, both sides. Um, it's the mesh. Um, if you forgot your instructions, there's simple instructions here um, to get 200 bees. Then um, put them to sleep with CO2 for um, four to six seconds. Uh, wait 10 seconds, then shake gently for 10 seconds, and count the VAR. So it's pretty easy. Got the red, um, two red lines. Um, put mesh in the bottom line then fill it with bees to the second line so that's how many bees you need uh, we're not going to count 200 bees we're just going to fill it between the lines um, and then get your dispenser uh, ready so just unscrew it here screw your cartridge on with CO2 uh, screw this back on this on that's ready ready to use um, welcome in the apiary I'm gonna open the hive take a sample of bees from a uh, brood frame from the brood chamber so make sure you've got your smoker all the bits for your um, CO2 VAR tester and um, we can get started This is heavy, full of honey. Right, um, so we're down to the brute chamber. What we need to do, um, we need to find a queen first. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to shake a queen into the CO2 of our checker, so we have a quick look for her. Keep her safe. loads of eggs here so she could be somewhere near and also loads of fresh honey the frames are full um, full of fresh honey here we really got good uh, weather this week so we're bringing clover in Some brood pattern, and there's our queen. Put this frame with a queen back in so she's here. 
so we can take bees from here so that's the right way up with the grid on the bottom um, I have a bit of paper instructions I'm going to use so the bees from a brood frame it's brood so I'm going to shake bees put them in yeah that's up to the line so it's about 200 so now we need our CO2 dispenser there's a hole here and four to six seconds so one two three four five six these are asleep um now we're gonna wait ten seconds Yeah, these are asleep. Now we shake them a little bit. Gently shake. Gentle shake. For about 10 seconds. Right. So, what we're going to do now, open the bottom and count the varroa. So there's one here, but there's also a couple here, no, one, just one, one stuck to the side and one here. So we've got two in our sample that's good uh, the bees we can pull back to the hive they're gonna come back to life they're just asleep so put them back to the hive they're gonna wake up um, CO2 don't kill them just put them asleep so we've got two for our mites in our sample and um, if we go back to our instructions now this is just fresh honey um, and so we've got July now, below three mites, no need for treatment. Uh, so we good. Uh, but if we've got between three to 13 mites, we, have, would, we would have to keep it under the observation. Uh, more than 15 mites in the sample, treatment's needed now. But we only had two, which is below three, no need for treatment. That's good. So you've got a table here when you purchase the dispenser for different mums and um, it all explains it and how many mites in your depends how many mites you count in your sample then what you need to do so we get yeah, that was really good actually uh, uh, we don't have a lot of varroa um, I, I didn't see any signs when I was checking the hives uh, before anyway so we can put the hive back together how it was um, and we don't have to worry now it's um, the honey is coming in really uh, like they're bringing a lot of nectar in um, so it's good we don't have to treat now uh, we will do it after the honey harvest which would be about end of July beginning of August so we can close the hive back together um, and it's all good Thank you for watching and um, hope you find it easy to use. Thank you.